are you feeling that same sense of relief after how last year's finale ended? Yes, and I'll I'll go ahead and meet my crow now, as it were, because I did say I do remember last Monday I did say we were going to exceed the four overtimes that we got last year. Uh, that didn't happen, so uh huh, yeah, I, I was wrong, but I'm glad I was wrong. It was a great race. I I really enjoyed this weekend, Ben. All all these weekends at Phoenix, all these races at at Phoenix were great. Uh, Trucks Xfinity Cup all the way around. Uh, no matter what we think of uh, the championship results. They still stand. Ty Majeski is the Truck Series champion, and boy, has he come a long way to get to this point, starting all the way back with, uh, you know, had that flicker with Roush and Xfinity, and it seemed like that 60 car was always the one that was spinning, and I, I hated it for him because I was uh, I was pulling for that 60 team uh, not, not too long ago, and then um, oh, goes with, with Nice Motorsports and then uh, gets fired from there and – wins the snowball derby in 2020 all of a sudden he's making phone calls and uh, or texting and able to get uh partnered up with thor sport who you know does a lot more than just uh the motorsport side of things um uh, uh, but having a, a good success with them and then last year coming close really good with the short track game comes into this year and and plays it just right what what a championship for time Majeski, and also what a win for the craftsman truck series to have a clean you know, as much as we talk about the the inexperience and the just the bonsai nature of of the truck series, just no, you know, the wild west of of the three national top national series, it, it was really refreshing and great for them to have a just a, a clean inside the scheduled distance uh, championship to the end. Yeah, I agree. And, uh, you know, I, I think whatever NASCAR uh, said in the driver's meeting certainly worked. We did not get a repeat of uh, the absolute insanity and chaos that we saw uh, last year. And I'm thankful for that. Um, hats off to the Truck Series drivers for giving us a clean race. You know, again, it would be interesting to see, you know, was if the, there was a was it a good race poll uh, for a Truck Series race here. Wasn't exactly, you know, edge of your seat sort of a uh, entertainment i don't think and and ty majeski really did he he left no doubt um you know in terms of who the best driver was on this particular night he led the last uh 56 laps consecutively trying to figure out the overall total here 132 uh of the 150 laps so no doubt about it from uh that perspective there uh you know but again i think that you know it always comes back to this this playoff format and and this discussion here um you know we'll get into christian eckes here in, in just a moment brandon but um, you know, when you look at Ty Majeski's season, we always said, you know, if you kind of had to make a stretch for the big three, because of course, Eckes is just, you know, running away with these top fives and top tens left and right. Corey Heim is backing up what he did last year. Majeski by no means had a bad season, but was still probably a pretty distant third uh, of the big three if you had to make that stretch again this year. What's your reaction to him winning the championship? And, and, and again, you kind of touched on it as well in light of everything that he's been through with, with Roush and with Nice and then. Uh, his journey just to get to Thor Sport Racing. Yeah, uh, just a re reaction of of him winning the championship. It was a great, great run for him. And yeah, re I, I always expected that he was eventually going to make it to this point. Just didn't know uh, quite when it was going to take place. I really thought it was going to be last year um, when he had had the run there uh, after the win at IRP. But yeah, it, it comes this year and. Uh, I really thought what I was going to see on this question here for 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 this weekend would be, uh, do you think he should should move up again? Is it time to move? I think I think he's a he's going to be a truck lifer, and I but I think he might have multiple championships in store for being a truck lifer. So I think he's in the right place, and he he has no reason to move right now. Um, but yeah, my my reaction to his title is is just the same. It's it's very appropriate, and yep, yeah, again playing the playing the system a little bit but you have to and really a uh, great driver to come in late into the season and and just doing everything right i think at the shop they said they call him mr golden shoes they all have nicknames there and he is he's golden shoes because just everything he does is just exactly to perfection yeah and again i i agree with you i think he is in the right place um i do kind of i'm getting that truck truck lifer uh, vibe from him here. Um, again, not, I think he has the talent to move up if an Xfinity ride uh, opens up for him. But, you know, again, I feel like, you know, Brett Moffitt's a good example, somebody that maybe tried that route. Um, he's gotten a couple of Xfinity opportunities here or there. Um, 
but you know, and, and he finds himself back in the truck series uh, this weekend as well, the 16th place finish. So he's still around, he's still racing, but um, you know, there, there are certain drivers that just, you, you kind of get that sense from them. And especially with a team like Thor sport, you know, Ben Rhodes, two-time champion, Matt Crafton, three-time champion, um, Johnny Sauter, even though he won his championship with GMS, you know, raced with Thor sport for many, many years, became a truck wiper. Uh, once he got to that stage in his career, um, I think that's certainly, again, no shame in doing that. And similarly, we'll get into Justin Allgaier here a little bit later, but I think, you know, the Xfinity lifer path that he's taken has clearly worked out well for him as well. Um, you know, so again, you know, it's not, I don't think it's always the case that the best talent in the sport is racing on uh, Sunday. I think there's a lot of drivers that you would put in that echelon, in that group that are racing on Saturdays and even uh, Fridays here as well.